we, I'm trying to record. There's no time to mail right now. You want to give me five? You want to get that out of the way? Thank you. Hello, my sweet friends, and welcome to DIY with Nadia. With me, I have Simba, and obviously he's saying hello to everyone. And in today's video, we are doing an awesome wreath. This is a pancake wreath, and the theme is limes. You like it, Simba? Pretty, huh? My favorite reason why I love this wreath method is you need one roll of 10 inch by 10 yards of deco mesh, a little bit of ribbon, a little bit of love, and you have a beautiful pancake wreath. Well, Simba's ready to get started, so let's go. Let's go over the supplies for this wreath. Starting out with this sage green deco mesh, which is really, really lovely. And it's 10 inches in width by 10 yards in length. Next, I'm going to use a roll of a white deco mesh from the Dollar Tree. This one is six inches by five yards. This part is definitely optional. I usually only use one roll of 10 inch deco mesh. For this method, I highly recommend using ribbon that is two different widths. I usually use a one and a half inch and a two and a half inch ribbon. You're also going to need pipe cleaners, 12 for the base itself, and then if you need extras to attach the sign. I'm going to be using three lime pigs that I got at the Dollar Tree. I'm also going to be using this super adorable sign. And for my wreath base, I'm using a 14 inch metal wreath form. Now let's attach our pipe cleaners. We are going to do two rows, six on the inside and six on the outside. On the inner row, I'm attaching a pipe cleaner to row one and two, and I'm putting it straight in the center. A few twists, and I'm going to fold it in. The inner row pipe cleaners are all done. The next six, I'm going to attach to row three, but for more stability, I'm going to go kind of on row two and three, but I am going to tie it on row three. I just like doing that, as I said, for stability of the pipe cleaners. As you see, it, it is attached on row three. And that is what I'm going to do going all the way around. And these pipe cleaners are going to face out. All my pipe cleaners are attached. We're just using 12 of them, six on the inside and six on the outside. Our deco mesh roll is 10 yards, which means it's 360 inches. Divide that by the 12 pieces of deco mesh that we need. That means we can cut our deco mesh into 30 inch strips. Since my board is only 24 inches in length, all I do is grab a ruler and go to five and a half inches put that underneath and then I have another half inch on the edge right here. So I have 24 plus the six, that's 30. Let me move to where I can cut. And now I'm going to start cutting 30 inch strips. And of course, as I said, we are going to need 12 of them, one per each pipe cleaner. Because these are so long, I like to just roll them up and put them in a little laundry basket next to me. My white deco mesh is five yards in length, but I'm only going to need six pieces. So I'm still going to be cutting this deco mesh into 30 inch strips and I should use up the whole roll. Now it's time to cut our beautiful ribbon and I'm going to cut 12 strips at 12 inches in length. So as usual, I am going to zigzag until I get 12 of these pieces of ribbon. When you get your 12 pieces, all you're going to do is fold the tips in half and cut little triangles out, making sure you cut the ends where the ribbon folds over. And just like this, we cut the ribbon in half and we're making our dovetails at the same time. Next, I'm going to be cutting my yellow ribbon. This is the one I got at Sam's Club. I'm going to be cutting 12 pieces at 12 inches in length. And just like with our two and a half inch ribbon, when you get your 12 pieces, we're just going to fold over the edges and cut little triangles. And of course, we're going to do this to both sides. 
all the deco mesh and the ribbon is cut up. Now it's time to attach it to the wreath. For a pancake wreath, we always start on the outside row and finish up with the inside row. When you do the outside row, you do everything, meaning the deco mesh and the ribbon. If you're going to add anything else, everything gets done. And then we move on to the inside row. Let's start with our deco mesh. And what I like to do is just put it on my cutting mat. I have my 10 inches and off I go collecting. When I have my full ruffle, if I went crooked really, really badly, I'll just pull on that or tug on it really, really lightly. I mean, lightly, lightly. Now I'm going to put it on, do a few twists there. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ends and I'm going to overlap them. We are going to tuck it in a little bit, do a little fold. I usually do a fold on a ruffle method, but here it's just no point after you put it on. That's when you want to make sure that all that is folded in, just like this, and you overlap it. You basically make this beautiful flower. I know it's really see-through, but don't worry, it's going to look beautiful in the end. And here is the reason that we need to use two different sizes. And that's because we are going to put our two and a half inch ribbon, and then our one and a half inch ribbon is going to go right over it. I'm going to make sure that it's in the center, then I'm going to fold it in half and find my center within the ribbon. Collect it, make it into a little V because I'm just collecting it from that inside. Attach it right on top of our ruffle. And I know I'm not going to be adding anything else here, so I am going to just twist up that piece of pipe cleaner, cut that off, and I'm going to hide this little tip behind the ribbon. Poof out the ribbon a little bit, and we are done with our first little ruffle. At this point, the process is going to be repetitive, and we are going to do the exact same thing collecting our little ruffle, making sure that it's even more or less, attaching it to our wreath base, overlapping the endings on both sides. Make sure that your edges are folded nicely and tucked in. Then we grab our ribbon, make a little V, attach to the pipe cleaner about an inch and tuck in that little end. The outside row is all done. The next thing I like to do is bring out the pipe cleaners on the inside so they're easier to get to and just wiggle them out in between the ruffles. For the inside row, we're going to do a ruffle with our green deco mesh, a cruffle with our white deco mesh, and then we're going to attach the ribbon just like we did on the outside row. Same thing, let's collect. Attach our ruffle to the inside row. We're going to do the same thing, overlay the ends, making sure to fold over the edges. And this is where you're going to see this emptiness start to get filled in. Then let's grab the white deco mesh. And this is 30 inches, so we have plenty of deco mesh. I'm going to do about four, even five rolls. Clip that and then do this side. And the nice thing about that is because we have all this length, we can make sure to prevent fraying on this piece of deco mesh. Now that we have our cruffle, I'm going to attach it. As you can see, I attached it sideways going from inside out. And that is because when we put our ribbon, it's going to be so beautiful and we're going to have that pop of white that's going to work really pretty with the little white in the sign and white in the ribbon. Let's do a few twists of that pipe cleaner. Cut off the edge and fold it back. And there you go, a little pop of white. How pretty is that? And I'm going to repeat the same process on the remaining five pipe cleaners on the inner row. So once more, it's 10 inch ruffle, six inch cruffle, 
and our ribbon. All the ribbon is on. We see some of that white peeking through. And because I really want my ribbon to show, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the yellow just in the top row and kind of move it towards the center. So we can see some of that beautiful lime ribbon. Very pretty, just like that, not too much. Now it's time to attach this beautiful sign. And because it's a little bit plasticky, I do wanna make sure that it holds on real well. So I am going to grab a crop -a dial and I'm going to puncture a hole on top and the bottom and use some floral wire to attach. I'm choosing the smaller of the two holes and I'm going to make a quick, there you go. It was that easy. Same thing on this side. Super, super easy. Grabbing a white floral wire. This is more than enough. I cut two pieces at, I don't know, about 12 inches or so. Twist it in the back. The second one, put my sign smack in the middle. There you go and attach. When attaching signs, I always like to do one or two twists, and I also try to attach on an intersection when I can, usually on row two. Let's see how I like it. Oh, I think we went south just a little bit. Let me let that one go. Okay, I like the way that looks. Now that the sign is in place, I'm going to grab my pick, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the limes off of the stems, and I'm going to pick the two bigger leaves and take those off. I'm going to make sure that my ribbon is the way I like it. And the first thing I'm going to do is take my leaf and put some hot glue at the bottom. And I'm going to attach it just like this, kind of the leaf on the side. With the lemon, I'm going to face this part towards the bottom so we can't see that. So let's put some hot glue right on there. A nice amount of hot glue and I'm going to attach if I see that it's holding in place I'm going to let go but I do want to make sure that it cools off before I move isn't this going to be beautiful then off I go to my next one first make sure the ribbon is good to go my leaf put the leaf on there and then a generous amount of hot glue once more on the lime. In my case, my leaves are all going to be on the right side. My lime's going to be on the left side, kind of facing the same way, but you can attach however you would like. I'm going to take the three leftover little leaves that I have and cut this little tip off. And then I'm going to add them to the smaller leaves, kind of give a little bit of dimension there. Why not? Why throw these away, right? So I'm just going to add it to the ones where they have the smaller leaves and kind of give two little leaves. And just like that, my pancake wreath is all done. I am loving all the bright yellow and the lime. And of course, that pop of white here and there just brightens up this wreath. good kitty okay my friends Simba's ready to say bye to everyone and thank you so much for being with us I hope you enjoyed this wreath tutorial and we both would love to see you in our next video if you're not subscribed please don't forget to subscribe hit the little bell button for now somebody wanted to wave bye bye <laughs> bye guys want to blow a kiss Mwah. there you go bye guys